Welcome students, staff, guests from the community, especially our veterans who are joining us for this virtual Veterans Day program. World War I officially ended when the Treaty of Versailles was signed on June 28, 1919. However, the fighting ended seven months before that when the Allies and Germany put into effect an armistice on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. For that reason, November 11, 1918 was largely considered the end of the war to end all wars and dubbed Armistice Day. In 1926, Congress officially recognized it as the end of the war and in 1938, it became an official holiday, primarily a day set aside to honor veterans for World War I. Throughout this nation's history, American soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines and Coast Guard have bravely answered the call to defend our freedom, to aid our friends and allies, and to turn back aggressors. We can never fully repay our debt of gratitude to the more than 650,000 American service members who died in battle or the 1.4 million who have been wounded. We can, however, recognize and thank the 25 million veterans still living today as we honor their patriotic service to our country. Thank you much for joining us today for our Veterans Day program. Good morning, I'm Jenna Hendrickson, an Amory High School senior and the younger sister of two United States Army veterans who both graduated from Amory High School in 2011. Each year for our usual Veterans Day program, the entire student body gathers in the gymnasium. The program usually features a guest speaker who served in the armed forces and has a connection to our school or community. This year, instead of a guest speaker, we're featuring School District of Amory graduates and staff members who have served in the armed forces. Through the media and word of mouth, we put out a plea to collect photos and information on any Amory graduates who have served. The response was excellent. Today, you will see over 100 photos of our very own warriors who have faithfully served our country in all branches of the U.S. military. The list is impressive. It includes men and women, graduates as far back as 1928, many who served and fought in foreign countries, graduates of U.S. military academies, an Apache helicopter pilot, a civil engineer at the Pentagon, three lieutenant colonels, a major who was an aerospace professor at the Air Force Academy, and more. We are proud to call every one of them our very own warriors. Our small town in Wisconsin has had a significant impact on our world. We thank them and all U.S. veterans for their service.
Steve Sabote. I'm enlisted in the United States Air Force. As we celebrate our veterans on this Veterans Day, I feel honored to be standing up here as a future member of our military. Today, we recognize those who have protected and continue to protect our way of life. Originally called Armistice Day, this day was created as a tribute to Americans who sacrificed their lives in World War I. Now, we also honor all American veterans who have served in any war, before or after World War I, to defend democracy. We honor our veterans from every time of peace as well, for they protect what our, way, what our war veterans fought and died to defend. All of our veterans have protected our democracy, our freedom, our way of life. Today, we thank them, and tomorrow, we must continue to honor them. The best way to honor our veterans is to take an active part in maintaining freedom in America. We must teach future generations about what it means to be an American. We must volunteer in our communities, take care of veterans and their families, vote in elections, and continue to try to make America the very best that it can be. Without our veterans, we wouldn't be where we are today. Thank you to all of you who have answered the call to serve and for those who will in the future. Selfishly, you left your fathers and your mothers. You left behind your sisters and your brothers. Leaving your beloved children and wives, you put on hold your dreams, your lives. On foreign soil, you found yourself planted to fight for those whose freedom you granted. Without your sacrifice, their cause would be lost, but you carried onward no matter the cost. Many horrors you had endured and seen, many faces had haunted your dreams. You cheered as your enemies littered the ground. You cried as your brothers fell all around. When it was over, you all came back home. Some were left with memories to face all alone. Some found themselves in the company of friends as their crosses cast shadows across the land. Those who survived were forever scarred, emotionally, physically, permanently marred. Those who did not now sleep eternally, neath the ground they had given their lives to keep free. With a hand upon my heart, I feel the pride and respect my reverence is revealed in the tears that now stream down my upturned face as our flag waves above you in her glory and grace. Freedom was the gift that you unselfishly gave. Pain and death was the price that you ultimately paid. Every day, I give my utmost admiration to those who had fought to defend our nation.
Good morning and welcome to the 2020 Veterans Day program. I am Dave Porter, Commander of the Veterans of Foreign Wars, Post 7929, located in Amory. Like most everything that we have encountered this year um, has been quite different than normal, and this is no exception. But we are thrilled to still be able to reach out to the Amory School District faculty, the Amory students, the local community, and to all the veterans. Veterans Day celebrates the service of all U.S. military veterans. Veterans Day occurs on November 11th every year in the United States in honor of the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. That signaled the end of World War I, known as Armistice Day. In 1954, Dwight D. Eisenhower officially changed the name of the holiday from Armistice Day to Veterans Day. The military men and women who have served and continue to serve and protect the United States come from all walks of life. They are teachers, parents, children, grandparents, friends, neighbors, and co-workers, and are an important part of their communities. The purpose of our program today is to honor, remember, and to thank all United States military veterans who had made a commitment to serve and defend this wonderful nation. I hope you enjoy this program, and remember to thank a veteran. Honor Guard, attend, hut! Ladies and gentlemen, before me are the boots, rifle, helmet, and dog tags. This is the symbol of a fallen serviceman who has answered his country's call. This honor guard is made up of his comrades in arms, members of the veterans of foreign wars and the American Legion. We will now render a final salute to all our departed comrades by firing three volleys and playing taps. Honor Guard, present arm. Rifle squad, prepare to fire. Ready, aim, fire. Aim, fire. Aim, fire. Present arm. 